Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at the two new boarding patrols and the Balefleet Battle Force for the Chaos Space Marines. In the video, I'll be breaking the cost down into pounds, euros, and US dollars, and then also looking at the points value for each of these boxes. And I'll also spend a little bit more time on the Battle Force, having a look at what combinations of box sets and units we can put together to take this up to maybe 2,000 points. So let's get started right away, and we'll go with the boarding patrols first. Let's look at the Space Marines one first, and if you didn't see the video yesterday, this is the generic Space Marines, it's not dedicated to any specific chapter, so this could be a really good box set to get if they make a good saving on the retail price, um, because then you could add some extra units to any of your chapters if they fit in with your army list. But if you're new to 40k, or perhaps you want a new Space Marine army, I think this is a great starting point, real solid units, and right away you're going to get a really nice model for your captain. This is going to be the captain in the Gravis armor. There's two options with the Gravis armor captain. You can get two different models, one that's available now and one that came in a box set for the previous edition, which I think is an awesome model. But this one's really cool and you've got the option to have the two different heads, one with the, the helmet and one without. He's going to come in at a total of 105 points, and so no options to add any extra war gear or anything like that. And then you've got five heavy intercessors. These have seen a great reduction in points now. These are going to be 115 points for five heavy intercessors, and that includes any upgrades you give them. So you don't have to pay any extra for the different weapon types now. So this is brilliant. For five heavy intercessors, this is so cool to get them at 115 points now. And the third unit in this box set is going to be a unit of 10 Assault Intercessors. Now you can split these into two units of five if you want to, which is probably better. There's no reason not to, I think, and especially with the board in action. So yeah, splitting these up will give you three troop units then. You'll have two Assault Intercessors and one Heavy Intercessor. These are going to come in at 170 points for 10 models, whichever way you do it. And that's going to include... All the weapon upgrades as well, which is crazy now. So no extra for the hammer, for any of the weapons. So this is really awesome. Really cheap on the points department now. So here I've got the prices from the Games Workshop website. And of course, you can get up to 20% discount at your friendly local game stores like mine. The Little Shop DVD and Games in Liscard, Cornwall. And if you go online, you can save up the 20% as well with places like Element, Firestorm, Wayland Games. I've got links to all of those down in the description below where you can make a saving as well and support the channel as I get a small commission from each sale. So all those links are down in the description. But here you can see the Captain and Gravis Armour is £24, the Heavy Intercessor is 40 and the Assault Intercessors would be £37.50 if you buy all these units separately. So here we've got the prices in UK pounds, US dollars and euros now. So you can see the different costs there if, if they were to be priced at the full retail price individually. And this is going to give you 390 points. Now this seems a bit weird because for the boarding patrol detachments, you're looking at 500 points. So we're quite a way off. There's no way of bumping these up because all the gear is included now. So you'd certainly have to buy some other models or use some from your collection that you've got already. These box sets must have been put together way before the points reductions were confirmed because if we look at the old points you can see here that these same units would be 545 points so they've come down so much it's crazy really the amount of points that they've been reduced by so yeah big difference so this would have been much more around that um, 500 point mark and I guess they were going with the idea that you would perhaps take eight of the Assault Intercessors maybe in one unit to make that make sense and fit in points wise. But now they're reduced so much down to 390 points. We've got to look at another unit really to add to this to take it up to 500 points. We've also got to be careful because we can only have one HQ, 0-3 troop units, 0-3 elite units. We've already got potentially three troop units or two depending on how we put it together. So I was thinking maybe keep it really simple, just add some Primaris Aggressors in there, we're allowed to do that. We can also add some Blade Guard Veterans if we wanted to, or perhaps just go in all Intercessors and go with the Primaris Intercessors and just take five of those, which is going to give you 108 points, and that rounded up nicely. 
So there we go, that's the first box taken care of, the boarding patrol for the Space Marines. And a bit weird, isn't it, that it's 390 points, um, but still, I think if you can just get another unit in there, or if you've got some already, then that would be cool. But if you have to pay the full price to add another unit to this, that is going to take away from the potential savings that we're going to get. And we'll talk about the prices that these could be sold at later on in the video. Now we're on to the Boarding Patrol, the second box set for the Chaos Space Marines. Again, we're going to look at UK pounds, US dollars, euros and a points breakdown. And this one's a bit weird. We'll also address the, the, the question of whether this is five or ten legionaries as well as we work through it. So first up is this surprise edition of Abaddon. I think it's really cool putting him in this box set. But for a 500 point detachment, he's going to come in at 350 points, which is nuts. That's so many points just for that 500 point army. He's going to be pretty much the bulk of it. But what a beast he is. And he's going to be really difficult to take on. The next unit are going to be the Legionaries. Now, is it five or ten? In the article that we saw yesterday, when we first got a look at these, in the picture, there's only five of them. But in the description, it says there's 10 Chaos Space Marine Legionaries. So which is it? Is it five or 10? Now, I thought it was going to be five because I thought the picture would make more sense. And it was just an error in, in the writing. I thought they would just split one of the sets. Um, but I got that wrong, which is a real shame because I did all the slides for the video and I had to change them based on the information update that was provided thanks to Kubazes. I have no idea how to say that, so apologies, but thanks to them for commenting on the previous video I made because they confirmed that on Facebook, Games Workshop are saying that it's actually 10 Legionaries. And you can see the comment here. Someone asked, is it 5 or 10, which is correct? And Warhammer have said 10 is correct and that it also comes with all the latest upgrades for the Legionaries as well. So that's really good news because that makes this box set even more appealing now. Now, this was taken from the Warhammer 40k official Facebook page. So really cool to get that info there. But in the same comment thread, people were saying they want to see some more Xenos. And yeah, I do too. This is going to be awesome. And so Warhammer 40,000 have said here, there's plenty of sweet Xenos content to come. So this is great. And then they went on to say further down, we'll most certainly be seeing Xenos factions in the Arcs of Omen all in good time. So that's good. So we can expect to see that come in as we work through this season, hopefully for Kill Team as well. I really want to see some Tyranids in Kill Team, some official models being released, some new ones. And then down here as well, are we getting some new Tyranids? And then they're just saying maybe. So yeah, this is looking promising for sure. Let's get back to this box set then. So originally I put 90 points for these five models plus an additional 20 if you wanted to go for the add-ons. But now it's going to be 180. So you are getting the 10 models in there uh, plus 40. Of course, they could be wrong on Facebook, but I doubt it. It's come from the horse's mouth, so to speak. So yeah, let's go with 10. That's the information we've got. So 180 points and an additional 40 you can add on. And that just leaves the cultists. Now there's going to be 20 in here, which is two box sets. And they're going to be 100 points altogether. And that's going to make this quite a good value box set. Here you can see you've got Abaddon, the Despoiler for £40. The Chaos Space Marines, £37.50. And then with the two boxes of Chaos Cultists, they're going to come to £55 altogether. That brings the total to £132.50. So if this is down at a price close to the combat patrols, this could be some really good value here. I had this priced up at 113.75 for 540 points with the five legionaries, but now with a 10, that's £132.50. And then the dollars is going to be 215, euros 175. But now there's a total of 630 points there with an additional 40 with the add-ons. So for a 500 point detachment for the boarding party, this is going to be like some decisions to be made which ones you do leave out. Do you only take five of the Marines or do you leave some of the cultists behind and just have like a, a kind of what seven or eight Legionaries in there? Yeah, a few decisions to make. So what a difference to the Space Marines. And again, this box set must have been put together well before the points changes were confirmed. And so if we look at 
the old point value for five legionaries. I'm keeping it in because I've done all these slides. Um, it would have been 490 plus 70. So that makes sense. That's bang on. That's why I thought it would have been five marines or legionaries. Um, but here it would be 580 points for 10 legionaries with an additional 110 points that you could add on. So that seems really high. But um, that's what it would have been. So even even at the old point values, this still would have been a really high point box set for a patrol detachment. Right, now let's have a look at some predictions for the prices then. So I'm thinking, is this going to be the same price as a combat patrol? It doesn't quite seem as fleshed out as they are. So I'm going to go maybe 75, 285. But really, I'm thinking more towards the 75 pound mark. It might even be a little bit less, but... I think really 75 is probably around the mark I'm looking at. Then for dollars, that's going to be 120 to 136 and euros, maybe 100 to 115. I'd love to know what you think, though. So add your price predictions down in the comments below. Next, we're on to the final box that we saw yesterday, which is the Bale Fleet Battle Force for Arcs of Omen. This is a bigger force now, much in line with what we've seen with the Christmas ones and the Space Marine battle boxes. So if they keep doing this with the factions, oh, it's going to be really exciting to see what's going to come out next. But first up, we got the first model in here, which is the leader. This is the Demon Prince. We saw this guy on Sunday with a pre-order preview for Age of Sigmar, Slaves to Darkness. You can also build him in different ways for Warhammer 40k. So he's going to be available soon on his own. But in this box set is a nice way to get hold of him. It's going to be 120 points and then plus 45 additional points if you choose to add on some of the extras. This is a really cool box set actually. If you didn't see the video I did yesterday... Yeah, take a look at that where you get the pictures for the first time of all the contents. But here you can see you're going to get 10 possessed in there. And these are really nice models and just beasts. But yeah, 10 altogether is awesome. Going to come to 280 points altogether with an additional choice of 20 points if you choose some of the optional extras. Then there's five Chaos Terminators at 180 points plus 25 for the extras. So this is a real solid force that they've put together here. And rounding off what I think is an awesome box set, you've got this guy, 165 points. I love that they've put this Helldrake in there. I think it's made the box really interesting. And as we look at what we can do and with two combinations of box sets later on, um, I think it's really good how these all work together these boxes and the combat patrols and things but here we are here's the whole layout of all the units included and i'm not sure how much the demon prince is going to be yet but i'm just guessing 35 pounds and then as we look at all the other models you got the chaos space marine terminators 36 possessed 35 per unit of five and then the hell drake 47 pound 50 again these are the full retail prices if you buy them on their own so all together, when we combine those, it's going to be £188.50, US dollars or €245. Euros. And all together in points, you're going to get 745 points plus an additional 75 that you could choose with the add-ons. So points-wise and price-wise, this is fitting right in with those Christmas Battle Forces that we saw and certainly the Space Marine ones that recently came out. So my prediction for these, £130 retail price, 210 US dollars or 170 euros. I think we can definitely expect to see it there. But what do you think? Let me know down below. I think there's a lot of appeal with the Chaos Space Marines. This is a really nice place to start though. It's got some really cool units, new and old, nice mix, real tough. I think it would be really fun to play. But what else could we add to it? And straight away, the obvious one is to combine the boarding patrol with this battle force. I think it just makes so much sense. You know, they work so well together. I could really see that being a good mix up. Personally for me, my Chaos Space Marines, I've gone with a dark angels like fallen army which is totally different and a totally different vibe and look to this but i think if i wanted to start from scratch i would definitely look to be getting these boxes mo mostly for value for money but also they just look really cool when you see all the models together
And here they are. So if you were to get these two box sets and now we're getting the 10 Chaos Space Marines in there, that's going to be 1,375 points with the additional 115 if you wanted to spend it. So when you look at the prices and then the potential discounts on top of that, this could be a real cost-effective way to start a new army. So price-wise, the combo would be £215, and that's going to get you, pretty much, if you went for all the add-ons, 1,500 points, which I think is a fun point limit for games. I mean, I really like 1,000-point games. 2,000 is fun because you can get loads of units on the table. But 1,500 is almost like a nice sweet spot in the middle where you haven't got too many units to worry about, but you've certainly got lots of options and combinations available to you. Now, with discounts at your friendly local game store or online retailers, you could get this lot for as little as £174, which I think is the best way to do this. To get a 1,500 point army for that price makes it cost effective, and I think you'd be really happy with the selection of models here. But if you don't want to include all those extras to ramp the points up, then you could just buy one extra unit of 10 legionaries, and then that's certainly going to take you to the full 1,500 points. So you got 1,555 points with an additional 155 if you wanted to. But if you really want to get the most models for money, why not add a combat patrol to both these boxes too? And then you can start getting up to 2,000 points. I think if you were wanting to buy those 10 legionaries anyway, and maybe in the future we're thinking about going up to the 2000 point mark, then cost wise, this is going to be the best way to go again, because you'd be looking at potentially £242 after discounts for everything here. That's going to give you 1,880 points plus an additional 190 points, which you probably would be using 100 of those to buff up some of the units with some extra war gear. Um, that's a nice 2,000 points army there, and look at all those cool models. Whether this would be really like competitive, I don't know, but I like to go with rule of cool, and now I'm really keen on saving money, so this makes sense. I mean, this could be a really cost-effective way to get to 2,000 points. You might want extra hell brutes, maybe you want some vehicles, I'm not sure, but I think this just highlights that the three box sets that are going to be available are and discounted well are going to really work together and overlap and you're not seeing too many units repeated which i think is a really good thing for anyone starting the hobby or wanting to start a new army there we go there's the price and point breakdown for all these three new boxes i'd love to hear what you think about this which one's your favorite what units would you add to this battle force to take it up to the thousand or two thousand point mark i'd love to hear your thoughts too so let me know in the comment section down below and i hope the video was helpful to you and you enjoyed it if you did like it please hit that like button subscribe for more videos like this one and don't forget to hit the notification bell too to join me next time on tabletop skirmish games a massive thank you to my Patreon supporters for helping me to keep going with these daily videos. Lots to look forward to this month as I've got some new things coming, so look out for that. And if you'd like to support the channel and join the Patreon, I'd love to see you there. I'll put a link down below in the description where you can find out more.